How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to set up the new Chromecast. I'm just going to do a basic step-by-step -step walkthrough to get you set up and going nice and quick. So uh, first thing you want to do is plug it in to your TV. So make sure you plug it into the HDMI port on the TV and then it does come with a wall charger and a USB. So you want to plug in that because the Chromecast has to be powered in order for it to work. So plug it in, TV, plug in the wall, make sure your uh, power cord is plugged in and then um, switch your input and it will take you to this screen right here. And the first thing it's asking you to do is to go to this website, chromecast.com slash setup on your phone or tablet. So here's my phone right here. And let's make a couple of tweaks so it's easier to see. Crank that screen up. There we go. All right. So go to the internet. So just Google Chrome. And we're going to type in chrome.com or chromecast.com slash setup. Okay, you guys can all see that right there. And we're going to go ahead and do a search for that. It says, hey, welcome, let's set up your Chromecast. All right. So basically, it's going to ask you to download an app first. So... What we're going to do is go... Add Google Cast extension right here. So give it a second, it should take us uh, to our next link, or we can go ahead and just tap right on the um, get it on Google Play, and then we'll tap on the shopping cart, and then it'll take us right to the app we need to download. There it is. So there is a new. Uh, Chromecast app or they just updated it and we're gonna go ahead and accept accept download it okay I'm gonna hit open and don't worry if you have an iPhone uh, this app is available on iOS as well so same thing you're gonna go to the App Store and just type in Chromecast so now it's gonna start scanning for Chromecast and it just found it um, Let's set up Chromecast. So we hit set up. And so now on the TV here, we do have a code and we're going to enter that code on our phone. Okay. So what's cool is that it already found it. It read it, gave you the same code. So all you want to do is make sure that the, the codes match up. And then, um, you're going to tap I see the code and then you can name your Chromecast I always name it something silly because I'm silly like that so I'm going to name it Hunger Games or Hunger Games let's see District 13 that's kind of funny oh we can't do 13 Alright, just Hunger Games then. Alright. And then, on your keyboard, just hit Done. And then, Set Name. This is kind of cool. There's a guest mode. Let's just go ahead and read up on that really quick. So, this allows devices in the same room to cast without being on Wi-Fi. Wow. Wi-Fi network. It uses a combination of your cast device's location and Wi-Fi to find nearby devices. Um... Hmm. In the same room to cast on your Wi-Fi. I would turn this off because I live in an apartment complex and I don't want anyone trying to cast to my device that I don't want to send something crazy to my TV. So for for this reason, I'm going to turn it off. But you know, it's up to you. Uh, set name. So now it's. Um, Basically going to connect my Chromecast to the same Wi-Fi as my phone. So I'm going to put that password in, which is also really funny. Let's see. Yo, Lamo. 
Espanol. Okay. So you can get your password in there. And then hit set network. And then if we switch to the TV, you'll see that it is uh, connecting right now. This is probably this is one of the things I kind of like and don't like. I still wish there was like a separate remote that you could get for Chromecast, just like um, you know Amazon has with their Fire Stick. Because I don't necessarily always want to use my phone, or you know, I wish there were certain things you could just control, um, you know, just a different way. So, all right. So there's a video. So I'll spare you the details on the video. But basically, this is while it's updating, which is kind of cool, actually. So, they're actually giving you something to watch. And they're giving you a basic step-by-step -step right here. So, kind of cool. Gives you a little bit of, um, you know, how to use it, what's the best way to go about it. But all this is while it's updating. So, at least you're not sitting there bored while it's doing that. So, And then, uh, at the bottom right here, it's actually giving us the time. So... Hopefully, by the time this video is finished, the update will be complete as well. If not, that would just suck. So, just to show you, um, this is what you'll see on your device. So, um, basically, they're syncing up together. They're both fetching the update. So, at this point, can't do much. Just kind of have to wait it out until it's finished. And, yeah. All right, so not sure if it's totally done downloading the update yet, but um, at this part, I would just assume that it's going to take a few minutes. Oh, it did right, jump right to the update, so that's good. It, this will all depend on how fast your internet connection is, so if your internet is not too quick, um, this may not be, this might take longer, so just keep that in mind, but you know, just give it time to do what it has to do, and uh, we'll uh, check it out as soon as, uh, oh, you know what? So, obviously, that's updating. I want to keep you updated on what you're seeing on the phone. This is cool. So, the phone is showing other content as well, and again, it's just more like instructional information of how it actually works. Um, again, the using it hasn't really changed from the original. Um, there's an icon that you look for. Let's see if we can. This is the icon you look for in, in your apps. And when you see that, it means that it is compatible with the Chromecast and you can basically cast it to the TV. So, YouTube primarily is like the biggest one. Uh, but you'll see it in like Hulu, you'll see it in Pandora, you'll see it in Netflix. Um, in your music apps, if you have Google Music, Spotify, you'll see this icon show up and they kind of like. Uh, it kind of syncs together with it, and that's kind of why you have to have the Chromecast app because it now kind of links that with the apps that you're gonna you have on your phone that you could possibly cast to your TV. So it looks like the update is complete, and now we're gonna hit continue. You are ready to cast and browse your cast apps. So now we can see what apps are actually compatible. Let's see. So go get apps, and so this is pretty cool. So for what we hear, there's a lot more apps that are available now, but we'll see right now. So just dance. Wow. Okay. So we got a couple of uh, Comedy Central. So this is awesome. So I'm very curious to see how this app actually works with Chromecast because. On uh, Apple TV, they have the, a similar app for this, and it's phenomenal. So, in fact, I haven't even... It, it's never been good enough on any other platform for me to actually use except for Apple TV. So, so cool. It looks like there's a, a really a lot of... Uh, a, a way bigger selection now. Even this is cool. There's like a little Monopoly app here. Might as well download that too. See what that's all about. But, um... Yeah, for the most part, our um, Chromecast is set up, and on your TV, this is what you'll see. And basically, this is kind of like the loading screen that uh, you now will see when you switch to your Chromecast. And until you actually cast something to it, this is just what it'll look like. But from what I'm seeing, just in the, in the app selection menu, um, they've made it compatible with a lot more apps. And I think the the biggest game changer 
uh, for Chromecast is going to be if they incorporate games, which it looks like, just to show you here. Um, um, I'm trying to see if I can get to a list and just show you like a bunch. But there's categories, obviously. So we've got featured. We got new. So these are two games here: Monopoly and Yahtzee. Uh, we've got streaming video apps, music apps, a couple of quiz. This so this is really cool, actually. So this is kind of a game section right here. So uh, like a Connect Four, Scrabble. So this is actually this looks nice, really fun. So there's a nice little selection of games. Texas Hold'em. Ooh. So anyway, we'll do some other videos. Obviously, this is only about setting up, but just wanted to kind of give you an idea of like what's available. And but it looks like you know better app selection. And obviously, there's been some tweaks to the overall Chromecast. So. Um, it is supposed to output in an even higher resolution and all that good stuff. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, favorite, share the video if you found it helpful. You are ready to go with your Chromecast and just look out for that little cast symbol and that's how you know you can set something to your TV and we'll definitely do our review, pros and cons worth it away and let you know what we think about it and if it's worth the buy or not. Alright, take care and have a good one.